Hi everybody, it's Mr. Sakura. Hi, it's Mrs. Walker. We're going to take you on a tour today of our middle school. Right here is our front entrance. It's kind of windy today, so if you see my hair blowing everywhere, just don't be surprised. Yeah, you should be worried about Mr. Sakura's hair and right. not mine. Right. We're going to take you on a trip through this front door. This is how you would enter each day. Come on. Welcome. Here at the middle school, we have a security team that's led by Miss Charlotte. Hi, Miss Charlotte. Hello. We have two other security guards that you'll see in the hallway. They make sure that you are following our Wolverine ways, being ready, being respectful, being responsible, and being safe. Here we go, entering through our front door. Yeah. That is where you will find me and Mr. Sakura on a normal day. And here is Mrs. Yosel. See in the morning if you were late or if you needed a pass to come. So again, this is our main office. This is where my office and Mrs. Volker's office are housed. Although we are hardly ever in here, we're always around and about the building. Could come up here if you need to make a phone call home. Um, our other secretary, Mrs. Rossi, is usually right here and she would be able to help you. The next place that we're going to take you is going to be very important to you as a sixth grader. It's the sixth grade hallway. As you can see, we're going to most likely enter through the main doors right there. And right to the right is our 200 wing, which is our sixth grade hallway. About it, the 200 hallways that's our lowest number, and that's our first grade level, which is sixth grade. When you walk down here, all of your core classes will be included in the 200 hallways. So you have language arts, science, math, and social studies. Every hallway has a computer lab, every hallway has a boys' and a girls' bathroom, and your locker will most likely be in that hall. One good thing to do over the summer as an incoming sixth grader is to practice opening a locker. So if you go somewhere like Walgreens or Meyer, Walmart, you can buy an individual lock. Practice opening it because on the first couple days of school, it can be a little tricky. So getting in that practice will make you feel a whole lot better about sixth grade. How about if we head into a couple classrooms? This is Mrs. Giacona's classroom. She could be one of your math teachers. Say hi, Mrs. Giacona. You will hear her voice if you watch the video for the, um, the math team. But this is kind of one of our good examples of a sixth grade tour. We'll give you a sneak peek here at a sixth grade math classroom. Hi, Mrs. Giacona. Mr. Janda. Yeah, let's go see Mr. Janda. There's Miss Haskey. She's another math teacher. This is This is Mr. Janda. He's one of our language arts teachers. Mr. Janda, hey, you're, you're talking you about doing? the wild world of sixth grade orientation. Oh man. Like, let me come closer so you can actually see a face. So you can see that's Mr. Janda. This is his room. Do you have any you tips, doing? any any advice, anything at all for the incoming sixth graders? Read, read, and more read. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'll all see right. you soon. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Janda. You can see here is a sixth grade language arts classroom. Library. Lots of reading material. And as we walk down this way, let's check out one more room. We can look at, what do you think, the social studies class, maybe? Sure. Another class you're going to have is something called advisory. Now, advisory is kind of like one of those homerooms where if you need extra help, that teacher is going to be that special advocate for you. I'm going to walk down this hallway. 
watch out for this. I, was, I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything. I thought Mrs. Loker was going to knock that sign over. No, I know these hallways very well. Like Mr. Zahara said, if you ever are looking for us, it's the hallways where you'll find us. This is a social studies class. I don't see Mrs. Mayhart in here. But if you'd like to see another sneak peek of what a sixth grade classroom at the middle school looks like, here you go. Today I was in this class actually visiting, and the students were doing some text rendering, learning about uh, Central America. And what is crazy is I was in Mrs. Rice's room, who's the other social studies teacher. They were learning about Central America, and they were doing a text rendering also. So even if your friends don't have the same teachers as you, you're going to be learning a lot of the same things. Where do you think we should go now? Well, we're going to head out the hallway here, and why don't we visit... Mr. Holt and the band room and show them what the auditorium looks like. We'll stop at a computer lab first. As Mrs. Volker said, each of our hallways or wings has a computer lab. So we'll give you a sneak peek of what the computer lab in the 200 wing looks like. So you can see here, every computer lab that we have has approximately 36 computers that we use for various classes. We do a lot of our testing in the labs as well. One thing that you will notice from lectures, in addition that we are going to take to our labs, are some partitions in between each lab space um, that will give you a little bit of separation in between each computer. So as we head this way, one thing you might notice is that quote up on the wall. We've added a lot of things to our walls using some student artists. Maybe someday we can help us add some things to our so all, all we did, we turned right out of the sixth grade hallway, and this is where you'll find our auditorium and our band classes with Mr. Holt and Ms. Campbell. Thank you, Ms. Holker. So you can see as we are about to enter the band room, um, students are assigned lockers to put their instruments in. Mr. Holt, I believe, is teaching a virtual seventh hour class right now, so uh, we can pop open the door just for a second probably and just give you a real quick sneak peek. Although you're going to see that the band room is empty and that's because he is conducting class in the auditorium right now due to the pandemic. So Mr. Holt, we're going to start with the band. Um, so it'll be someone that you would have for multiple years and coach in the band program. Mr. Holt, we so are introducing you to some of our sixth graders that you may have already gotten oh, to meet. Yeah. Right in front of him. Well, there's the band teacher, Mr. Holt. You already seen him, right? We're going to hand out. He's got class right now, so we're going to leave him be. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Holt. And if we go back outside the band room into the vestibule, you'll see there's another set of doors, and this is where we enter our auditorium. Unfortunately, this year we haven't been able to use the auditorium for gatherings, again, due to the pandemic, but we have a beautiful, newly renovated auditorium that we'd like to show you. We are very grateful for all of our Warren Woods families for passing out recent bonds. We got all new furniture, all new carpet, um, our curtain was updated. And you may have already been here for different performances, and we are very proud of our auditorium. Our auditorium seats just about a thousand, a little over a thousand people. So we are very fortunate to have this beautiful auditorium in our middle school. Where do you want to go? All right, let's head to the cafeteria. We're going to show you a couple more places in the school. While we're headed to the cafeteria, uh, we do have uh, a couple more wings, the 300 wing, the 500 wing, and the 700 wing, which are similar to what we showed you with the 200 wing, where your classes will be, and those wings house the other grade levels. So 
seventh grade students are in a wing, the eighth grade students, and then we have some uh, specials classes and some other programs in the 700 wing. As we travel this way, this is our 700 hallway. You might actually have a class down here because many of you will have art as your elective class. You'll know a 700 hallway because you see all the art work in our building. So that's the 700 wing. And actually, why don't we pop into counseling before we head to the cafeteria? So this is one of those places you would go maybe if you need some um, support in one of your classes, maybe if you don't feel well. When you come in here, there are two counselors and one social worker that you will get to know pretty well. And you would sign in at this front desk here. So if you're going to sign up for one of the counselors, you're going to use this computer right here, which is not on right now, but that's where you would come in and sign up to see your counselors. Hi, Miss Andrea. And we'll take you real quick back to our counselor's offices. We have Mrs. Kaepernick and Miss Maylow. We're just giving our incoming students a brief tour of the building. Their faces as they do a virtual tour with you on the 17th, but we wanted to make sure that you see what their offices look like so that if you ever needed something, you would know what to do. And we'll pop into one more office, which is Mr. Koshko. He is our school social worker. Hi, Mr. Koshko. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So that's Mr. Koshko, Mrs. Kaepernick, and Ms. Maylow are available in the counseling office. You wouldn't typically walk back here unless you were invited back. Most kids will be right out here where these chairs are, and then Ms. Kaepernick or Ms. Maylow or Mr. Koshko will come get you for your appointment. Also located in the 700 wing, which is right across here, is our school nurse, Ms. Donaldson. So we have a school nurse on call throughout the day, and that is where her office is located. In the circle, you're going to see our cafeteria. Our cafeteria is set up a little bit differently than usual. We usually have long blue lunch tables. Right now we've made some changes so that we keep everybody safe um, as we respond to the pandemic. Currently we have three lunch periods and that will probably be the same next year where you'll, you will either be assigned A, B, or C lunch, depending on your advisory time. But you can see here how our lunchroom is set up. Get to know pretty well. That's Miss Christy over there. Say hi, Miss Christy. Hi. Christy, somebody. Hi, Christy. All right, just taking our sixth graders on a virtual tour of the building. We have our cafeteria set up in a way that makes it so that everybody has enough distance, but also you get to sit with a lot of your friends. Right now, we have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade in our lunchroom at lunch. You'll see that we have a stage up here. And that was our bell for the end of our usual school day. Something different that um, elementary doesn't have throughout the day. We have that at the end of each class period. Currently, we have eight different color tables in the lunchroom. Uh, we have them color coded. So we call the tables up each day by a color. And that's who's able to go up in line for lunch uh, first. Our lunch choices um, change each day. All right, so you'll be spending about a half hour of your day in the lunchroom every day for lunch. All right, we're going to make our way out. We might see some traffic in the hallways. We might see some staff. We have a few students that are still here for uh, in-person learning for a seventh hour period. So we may see a couple students. We're just going to head towards the gymnasium, and that should wrap up our tour. Going in a circle. We call this center hallway the circle. 
Um, and all of our hallways branch off of it. So if you ever feel like you're lost and you don't see the 200 hallway, you can just keep walking and you will find it. Hi hey guys, Michael, do me a favor. Can you open your partition up, show the students? So in each of the classrooms, the students have the partition. So we put those up on their desk uh, during this time just to keep everybody as safe as possible. Thank you, buddy. Have a good day, you guys. Hi, girls. Yep, so we're, we'll visit our last place in the school for today, which is the gymnasium. Um, it's located in the gym here. Our gym is actually pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Pretty large, yes. Yeah. This, we're very fortunate to have a very large gym. Um, Warren Woods Middle School used to be a high school, and so we're very fortunate to have the size that we do uh, for our gym. You can see that there's some seventh grade girls in here right now. Uh, basketball tryouts began on Friday, and Coach is working with some players right now right before tryouts begin. But you can see here a video of our gym and actually this gym floor over the summer will be completely ripped up and a brand new gym floor will be installed over the summer again thank you to our parents uh, for passing our bond you can see up there too above on the second level there's a whole weight room up there in fitness center as well all right all right so we're going to head out of the gym and we're going to turn right and we're going to be back where we started at the main entrance. And that will pretty much conclude our virtual tour. So if you're wondering what kind of things you can do over the summer to get ready for middle school, I think the most important simple thing is to practice a combination lock, but also start to think about ways that you are organized like these folders, binders, all of your teachers are going to be awesome in those first weeks of school training you for how to be a Warren Woods Middle School student. This is Miss Rita. She's excited to be on camera. She's part of our security team as well. We are very grateful to have her. She's somebody that we call her. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our tour. We are looking forward to seeing you soon. If you need anything, please don't hesitate. Reach out to us. We are so